What is going on, Bulls Nation? What a game. What a game. And we'll discuss all about this game two of the playoffs right after this. Get the lowdown on one of the most iconic basketball teams in the world. You're listening to Chicago Bulls Nation. All right, Bulls Nation, what a game by the Bulls, man. I was I was on my feet watching it on my couch, but I, I can't sit down. This is, you know, one of the most exciting games that I've seen from the Bulls in a while. And you know the narrative for the Bulls. They haven't beaten, uh, you know, a top-tier team. What, like, 0 of 16 or 0 of 17? What a way to get the first win now, right? Right in the playoffs. Uh, against the defending champs and honestly this past two games even the first game that we lost it was competitive i like what i saw with the bulls they were fighting they were not you know the timid chicago bulls that we'd known i love it i love every minute of it it's it's an amazing game it, it was <laughs> uh, they almost gave me a heart attack because we led by 18 almost gave it up but the bucks never really got in control you, you just felt it because it's the Bulls. Or, oh, they're going to give it away. But sometimes we forget that the Bulls are a top-tier team as well. And they're they're not a young team. This is a veteran team that, you know, they, although there's not a whole lot of experience together, but, you know, led by DeRozan and, and you know, Vooch, who has been in the playoffs and all that stuff. I mean, Caruso has championship pedigree. Uh, you know, they don't fold easily. This is not a, you know, a young team up-and-coming team but boy was it fun to watch it, it was a fun game to watch everything like our defense was on point i think we held them to like 21 points at one point you know in, in the i think it's the second or third quarter or something i think it's second quarter um the past two games our defense was on point caruso is back he is back, you know. That is one thing I I would I hope that the other Bulls player would do against Giannis is take charges, cause Caruso is willing to give up his body if if Levine and and DeRozan is just willing to do so. They're not gonna get called for a foul, cause Giannis is like a bull. He's just out there, out of control sometimes, and just overpowering everyone. If you just know your role and you know just you know stay in the pocket and absorb that contact i think we're gonna put him in foul trouble easily but boy it, it that that last charging by um the charge that that caruso took it was huge because it was getting close like if he didn't get the charge uh it would have been two points and then the lead would have cut down to three it's a one possession game Boy, even at the last minute when when DeRozan fouled him, it, we are leading by five, so there's no way they can go back. But I just wanted the game to end at that point and just get a win. And here we go. Everyone counted us out. I even said on a preview, we might lose to the Bucks, and we still might. But I I would not doubt if the Bulls pull off this in the series as well. We are not a bad team. Again, we're not one of those teams who just sneak into the play-in and all that stuff. So we were number one seed, just had some troubles, but we are capable of losing to a bad team. We're also capable of beating a good team. And we showed it tonight, and boy, DeRozan. You know, I was critical of DeRozan with his shot making the past few games because it feels like sometimes he's forcing the issue. Uh, and that st is still the case sometimes. But if he drops 41 and he was challenging Giannis... Anytime that he got Giannis on, you know, in the spot that he wanted to, boy, he's he's lighting him up, lighting him up. And, you know, like Stacy alluded to, sometimes maybe just don't do a pick, you know, don't set a screen on DeRozan and let him go one on one. And he is feasting, feasting on um, Wesley Matthews. Boy, I mean, there's so many good things about this game. Patrick Williams showed up as well, especially in the first half, uh, you know, making some shots. And and we needed from him. We needed some contribution from Patrick Williams. Uh, Javante Green also provided some quality minutes. Vooch, honestly, Vooch is the, has been the really important guy in this. It feels like he's the second best player in the team and not Zach. Zach had some moments, but Vooch is so vital on rebounding he's playing good defense you know got a sixth foul so he, i mean fifth foul so 
he was a bit timid towards the end defending but boy he was doing good i like vooch in this in this series a lot so far in the, uh, in the past two games yes he's, he's still making some mistakes but the defense is just tight on this series and i love watching it and we stole one <coughs> we stole one against uh the bucks and that's all you can ever ask for um now we go back to chicago gotta defend the home court we gotta have the same intensity you know as the second game right off the bat we scored 9-0 you know compared to milwaukee in the first game even in the first game we did take the lead one thing that i noticed we didn't play kobe that much and we tightened our rotation and that's what we're supposed to do yes i know uh middleton left but caruso was giving middleton uh the business middleton is having a hard time with caruso and zach i think is is doing a a decent job uh against drew holiday yeah, drew is not a, a scorer anyway but i think he did a decent job and and um also demar you know he got some timely you know turnovers on Giannis. just the rebounding especially in the free throw with Giannis. you gotta box him out and all that stuff but uh tristan thompson provided some energy off the bench with that little minute that he does have uh i i like i said i do love the fact that our rotation has been tightened uh you we got io who's playing you know sporadically here and there but you know limited minutes i wish we would run more especially when io's on the floor with patrick williams you know get those fast breaks going because bucks the bucks is a tall team but they're a slow team you know especially on the transition so if we can get that going, that would work well for the Bulls. But overall, man, what a game by DeRozan. 41 points. The man is on a mission. He's on a mission. And he willed this Bulls to, you know, he willed the Bulls to this, this victory. And hopefully he continues this tear. Because it is fun to watch. When DeRozan is hot like that, let him go one and one You know, sometimes you, you, you want to pull your hair out but if he scores 41 you live with the bad so man zach i hope zach has a big game next game because i want him to be more involved in the offense you know like uh i'm pretty sure the bucks are gonna make some adjustments and by that i mean double teaming demar on his spot so zach has to be ready and not just be a catch and shoot guy but you know go into the hole like what he's doing in the second third quarter be aggressive and and you know i think we have a chance against this bucks team thank you for watching guys hopefully you have a good night tonight good sleep because the bulls won see you guys friday thank you for watching and i'll see you um you know on the next video